worked with uh, our attorney, county attorney on uh, the humane shelter agreement. We did get that approved and uh, signed. Um, and that's $108 per um, unit, whether it be cash or dog, that we get. Uh, LAR will, will be um, subject to their own. We won't deal, the county won't deal with anything within LAR will. That wasn't in the contract, but that is, uh, we've talked to Lindsay about that. Um, so if any of the incorporated areas will not, they'll have to deal with it themselves. Well, they, I take it they're bringing their budget in? I haven't communicated that. To, I mean, we communicated that during the meeting, but and we asked, we said we'd like to see their budget annually. So. Don had their budget. Yeah, we had the budget through the commissioners. I can get that for you. Well, I just thought we was going to look at the budget before we. I thought that was in the motion that we'd look at the budget before we approve spending any of that money. I yeah. think it would. Yeah. Um, okay. And how much per animal did you say? It's one hundred and eight dollars per animal, which I think that that's probably with a maximum of twenty five thousand dollars. What kind of reporting do they do when they send us a? They get a bill us monthly or something like that. It's going to be monthly. Monthly, and identify where those came from. Right, they'll have to be identified. Each one of them will have to and be like identified. an address. Yeah. yeah. Or where they pick, or, where they pick right. them up, whether it's picked up or brought in, where it's brought in. But it's actually it's not a contract. What we've got is a memorandum of understanding rather than going through a huge contract. Um, and I don't know if you've got copies of that or not. But I can get copies. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a year by year type of agreement. Yes. And is the commissioner's going to oversee that? Um, yes. I think Commissioner Amber will. And I can report back to you quarterly on that if you'd like. Um, yeah, we just we just don't want there to be an issue every year of huge, you know, funding. And yeah, I'd like to see it settle down a little bit. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting to see whether they go to the max twenty five thousand. You know what happens this year? Do you think there's a question that they won't? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I the way this hundred eight come about was twenty five thousand divided by the number of animals. Right, right. There wasn't a true cost of what it cost per animal, just that's just the way they arrived at it. Right. I guess, I think, to your point, they were looking at the $25,000 and this is how we get it, if you look at it that way. And I hope that's not the case. <laughs> no, that's how we did it. Yeah, we talked to them about it, but... I don't know, run out a year and see what happened. Uh, yeah. Well, and you know, my thought is it's in our two year CEDA program, but I, you know, actually CEDA goes year by year, and um, truly shouldn't it be in the, in the uh, general budget as far as in humane shelter? And you, know, and you guys are going to have to decide what you want to do with it for next year. I still can know. That we might change it back to the commissioners because it was there in 2008, eight, nine. It was in the outline item in the commissioner's budget, so we might put it back in there. You paid them two times a year. That's it was right. 20000 10 the first tax distribution, and 10 the second. And you didn't ask anything from them, but that'll be you guys' choice of budget time if you want to keep with the per animal if you want to go back to just right. pretty much donating to the cause. That's the way it used to be. Um, Amy Motter was uh, before us for the Cedar Bridge, Cedar Bridge contract, which is 100 beds um, that they, they contract for. Um, and then uh, accurate assessment uh, amendment through Rita, Rita didn't show up, but uh, um, we approved the uh, amendment, uh, and that was through um, the state had an amendment for her, and I think part of it was that we couldn't deal with any, we had to make sure that we weren't dealing with anything through Iran, um, 
was just an, uh, it was an odd amendment. Uh, but we approved that. Um, Sheriff Hodges came for us on the courthouse security, and we were um, uh, had favorable on that to uh, Marquette. And, um, we had a snow removal contract uh, for the jail that we approved, and uh, uh, that was per, um, if, if there's one to four inches, then we paid $45 per um, removal was over six inches and it was ninety dollars um, per removal and then the highway our highway department would have to remove the snow that was was piled up so have they done it and yeah. twice so far we've had uh, two forty five dollar bills on that um, otherwise um, The only other thing I had was uh, what I would like to request. We had uh, advanced imaging systems came and gave me a quarterly report, and part of our quarterly report for the print management system was how many copies did we have, whether in color, uh, black and white. Totally, we were down 8%, and, and they gave me a quarter from 710 to 810. Uh, the new report will be coming in, but uh, our copy use has been going down tremendously. Right now, totally, we were down 8% uh, on our copies, which I thought was great that we're going down, and I think... I didn't think it'd never be down. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. isn't it so it something to do with your initiative to copy front and back? Yes, that's, that's well, not really, Paula, because actually that, that the copy is per click on that, so front is oh. one, back is another. We're, what we're doing on that is it's a, it's a paper savings, but I'll be honest about it. We'd have a tremendous savings if it wasn't for the uh, uh, extension office. We used last quarter we used one machine forty thousand copies, and, and which chuck, which cost the county an additional three thousand two hundred dollars in overages for that. Okay. Would you? Maybe tell them that you're going to have to keep that under control down there. They well, probably do a lot that they probably is not necessary. Well, well, and I, part of the problem, Jim, on this is the way we're doing that right now. We need to actually put that in their budget. That this print management system shouldn't be through the commissioners. It's, it's got to be in their budget so that they have a budget number. Uh, we have okay. we have everything for the year. And what I would request of the council was that next year or for 2014 that we put that into individual departments budgets so that they have to look at that that they can't just throw it into the commissioner's budget and say you know this this that was nice and then what we've done it used to be they had their own individual contracts which was in their budget um, but since we've gone to this print management system they have that extra money in their budget and then any, any additional, if, if they go over, it goes into the commissioner. So it actually, I mean, it's added money for the departments taken away from the commissioner's budget, and, and that need, they need to be responsible for their part of this yeah. contract. Well, do you have. guys have a good idea what that number should be? Because I know when office supplies tried creeping into each one of the budgets, it was hit or miss. You know, one department would have $4,000, and the department the exact same size would budget two thousand dollars but with this new print management system is there a way that you we can know really exactly. say we yeah know exactly we that would be great I, we, I say that we advise Jen to put that in the budget this what that way this year I put a note in there when George brought the last quarter thing up to bring it up during budget time take it out of yeah. the commissioner's contracted services and back in to the departments because we know exactly by the um, copier who's making the copies. That way if they go over it comes out it has to come out of somewhere out of their budget. Right, right. Where right now they don't care. Because we're all in one big group like we were in supplies. I'd like to know how why they needed forty thousand copies. I could understand that during the four H period, but and it hasn't slowed they'll down. Just, yeah. They'll just ask for more money. <laughs> <laughs> but what is it they're copying? 
Do they well, do they're, in the front they're, and back? They things? have a newsletter that they put out 10 times a year. And, and that newsletter is, is 16 pages times 1,600 of those that they put out. And, and, and that's almost every month that they put that out. Does everybody get that newsletter? You get that? I think I do get that newsletter. I, I didn't get one 16 pages. I don't pages. realize it's 16 no, pages. No, I get a newsletter, get a newsletter but uh, yeah. I didn't think it was that big, but it is. Like it's usually folded in half. Yeah. yeah. Well, this time, because they've got, we put more efficient machines in there because of the fact that they were using the color copiers before. So now that we put more efficient machines in there, they're using it more. And, and <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And each of the machines, I, I don't know if you know, part of the print contract is, is um, if if we find that somebody is using co color copies on a, on a machine that is really an expensive machine, through advanced imaging, we pay $80 to change a machine out to a more efficient machine. We get uh, a refurbished machine from advanced imaging. And they they put it in. The only cost to the county is an $80 cost, and uh, um, if we re remove a machine right now, we've got probably six machines back uh, in our storage area here that uh, are not real efficient machines, but yet some of them are good machines. One machine we had was one that we took out of in back of um, what would be Pam's desk right now. It was a printer, copier, fax, scanner machine, and it was just a smaller machine. And that machine we put, the uh, coroner was requesting a printer. And so rather than going out and buying a machine, we used that. And we're not going to put that under contract either. It's just it's something that isn't going to be used that much. So we are, we're are we moving things around, trying to be more efficient with that. So we own all the machines. We don't lease any of them? No. The $80 machine still is, it's not leased. It's just they're putting the machine in for us because it's more efficient than one we had. So we can use it and we're paying to use it but we're but we don't own it. Just yeah. yeah, the $80 is the only <coughs> cost that we've got. Other than extra printing that's doing. Yeah. Yeah. But we're we're we've got all the information on how how many copies everybody uses on each each individual machine we have um, information on. And there are and one thing what we'd like to do also is it, um, we can tell some of these printers haven't been used and we're, they're under contract. Right. So what we're trying to do is, is focus on those. If somebody has 10 machines in their department and they're only using three and they want backups, we're trying to work with them on, on being a little bit more efficient with that. So that's just evolving right now. Other than that, I really don't have anything. Okay. Any questions for Commissioner? Okay. Thank you, George. We've got a couple.